Yo, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Tay TV. My reaction video, I will be reacting to the haircut punishment. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into this video. Barbershop. Every black man's favorite place to be. A place where every man can go and keeps it real. Oh, you want to argue about the greatest basketball player of all time? The Barbershop. Still debating on who's the greatest rapper to ever live. The Barbershop, man. Want to hear some baby mama drama? The Barbershop. The one place man can go and be man. See, here's the thing. When you get that fresh cut, I, you certainly feel like a new man. Nothing in the world compares to when you step out that barber chair, look in the mirror, and see a pushback hairline. Damn! Hairstyles have always been a staple in society. Simply by looking at a person's cut, you can tell a lot about who they really are. Some people like their cut crisp, full of deep, sick, sick waves. Ooh. Others get that high top fade, looking young and fresh. Yeah. Some get that razor, deep, crispy edge of, oh, got the angles dripped. Some even got the LeBron James reverse fade going on. But this 2020, my guy, it's not a problem. You got the LeBron diagnosis, we got you. Just go to the local shop and you good, fam. But nobody, and I mean nobody, rocks a bald head willingly. And that's where I'm going to take you back, back to my childhood years. See, when I was a kid, my dad had one rule when it came to haircuts. And that rule was always, and I mean always, cut that dog. Dead ass, I hated going to the barbershop with my dad. See, African parents don't believe in giving their kids the latest popular hairstyle for that drip. Fam, if they paying for it, you gonna get that ball cut, which will last just long enough so they don't have to waste any more money until the next cut. Now the good thing is, when I got older, I started going to the shop all by myself. All I had to do is ask my mom for $15, $10 for the cut, and $5 for the tip, pull up to my man's drizzy, and get that fresh cut. But now, for my OGs, y'all remember my favorite pork cut video, right? Now, if you don't remember, or you're new to the channel, no problem, I got you, my G. Your boy wanted that new PS2, so got straight A's by taking my pork cut, got the new PS2, and pulled it off like a G. Trust me. If you haven't watched the video, just go back and check it out. Now here's the problem. After getting straight A's, my grades started slipping. Come on, ain't no way I'm getting straight A's when I got that PlayStation in the crib now. I'm too busy playing that GTA, dog. Now we got a second problem. I need to find a way to fake my report card yet again. But fam, this is way too risky. Dead ass, I almost had a heart attack the last time I pulled this off. Which I barely escaped. So here we go. Now it was the middle of the semester. Now in my school, during spring break, you get an early report card just to see how well you've been doing. So I was in class waiting to see my new straight A. I get my report card, open it, and here we go. P.E. A. Drama. A. Math. B. English. B. Science. C. Spanish. Oh dear God. D. D. Oh, you did this. What do I do? Now I started thinking. Should I really fake my report card again? See, I already knew if my mom sees my bad report card first, she's gonna take the PlayStation away. Then, I'm gonna get my ass beat. Now remember, in my school, the teachers call the crib when you're failing any subject. Now since this wasn't my first time failing Espanol, I knew there was no way the school would just leave a message. They certainly will have to talk to my parents about it. So on my way back to the crib, I started thinking. Started dancing. Song. Then he hit me. My brother. See, my brother was older and had a deeper voice than me. All I had to do is get him to pick up the phone, talk to the teacher, and act like he's my dad. Then we got it. So I get to the crib, get to my parents' room, and check the phone messages. Just to make sure the school hadn't called yet. Okay, cool. 
no one, one is called yet. yet. Now, now all I gotta do is wait for my brother to get home, convince him to go on with the plan, and I'm back on my PlayStation, my guy. So here we go. Now since I wasn't expecting a phone call for a while, and no one was at the crib, I decided to take an early shower. That way, I'm ahead of the game before my parents got home. So I get in the shower, midway through the shower, I hear the phone ring. All right, but no problem, right? No one's at the crib, so I figured I'll just let the phone ring, and if it's to school, I'll just delete the message. A few moments later, the phone rings again. Still, no problem. Just let it ring, and I'll get to it after the shower. Then I hear, hello? Oh. My. God. That's my mom. See, with my luck, my mom got home early and picked the phone up. I already knew what was coming. Tim, get your butt over here. So I get out the shop, walk towards my mom. Did you have a D in Spanish? Um. So you went from an A to a D? Um. You have been spending all your time playing video games. No, no, Mom, really, really Spanish, Spanish is really hard. I don't want to hear it. Go get me that game right now. So I got to my room, got the PS2, and headed it to my mom. Now you're probably thinking, that's it, right? Uh, uh, it's never that easy with my parents. Then came the real punishment. Now, here's one thing you need to do before you start your holiday shopping. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you watch this first. Watch this. I can show you how to get this. Now my mom started thinking. See, she needed a punishment that would cut deep. But since I was getting older, she knew a good old-fashioned whooping wasn't just enough. She needed something better, something that would teach me a good lesson that I will never forget. Now, like I said earlier, every few weeks my mom would give me haircut money. And this is where she got her idea. So for my punishment, my mother decided until I pull my grades up, there will be no more haircut money. From now on, Moms will be my temporary so upset, bro. Damn. Now, for those of you who don't understand, having someone cut your hair who has never attempted to even hold a clipper in their entire life. Oh, I'm done, done. So after a few weeks, my hair grew, and it was finally time for my first mom cut. So I sat down, moms got the clippers, and gave me the freshest cut any moms can give. So after the cut, I went to the bathroom, looked deep in the mirror, and I knew I'm never showing my face in school ever again. My mom, my shit up, had my hair on doing the moonwalk. So the next day, I get to school with a scully on my head, of course, but according to the school rules, I couldn't rock my scully in class. So like the G that I am, I took off the scully in the middle of class, and I'm sure you already know what happened next. Let's just say, words cut deeper than any haircut my mom could give me. But, just like always, with time, my hair made a comeback just like LeBron's hairline, and my mom cut it again, and again, until I got my grades back up. So, moral of the story. The truth doesn't cost you anything, but a lie costs you everything. What's up, world? Thank you for joining your boy for another video. This week's video for this is all video. about Please that like, cut. Share, comment, and if you and had that mom's cut, you my channel. Follow, follow me on my social right? media. Now let's like get straight to the shout outs. This week's first shout out goes to my man, Yadia, who has what's 